In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this slow motion and then this slow motion. Let's get straight into this. So to start off, I have a video that I created for a friend. He sent me a clip, which I will be using. He said it's okay to use. So it's a clip where he flies into the water. The explosion, bang, flies into the water. That is that. Here is the original clip. And we're going to use this for slow motion effect. Two different slow motion effects. So we're going to skip to the part where he does his acting bit, flies into the water. It's hilarious. <laughs> so we're going to start around when he starts to fly into the water. Just about there. So we're going to click on the clip. Right there. Left click. Control B to split the clip. And just delete the first one. We don't need that. We'll turn off auto magnet. Sorry, track magnet. And we're just going to put it right here. So we have this right now. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Control. Roll on the keep. Roll on the keyboard. Roll on your mouse. Or just come over here and do that. So you're going to drag across till about... It looks pretty good, where he just gets absolutely drenched. So control B again, split the clip. Just gonna leave that over there. We don't need that. In fact, we'll just delete that. Now, click on this clip. All we need to do is come up to here, go to speed. Very simple, and we're gonna drag this down all the way to 0 0.1. And what you wanna do right now, this is crucial, very important. Click on slow, smooth slow mo. Come down, click on frame blending. Go down to optical flow because longer time, better quality. It's exactly what you want. And it will apply at the top. So I'll be with you in a moment when that gets done. Now it has been applied. Let's have a quick look at this. Full screen. That looks really cool. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So here's the next trick to make this extra, extra, extra slow. That's the force one. So what we want to do right now is just this. Right click on the clip. Come down to range. Select an area by clip. See these two blue, blue, two blue, sorry. Two blue little markers. This will, the on, this will be the only part of the video that will be rendered. <laughs> I can't even talk today. So we're going to export this clip. Give it a name like slow mo. Slow motion. One. There we go. Let's export this. That's pretty much it. That is done. So now we just come over here and cancel. We don't really need this anymore. So that's the fourth slow mo clip. Pretty fun. Pretty cool. Now, import. Where did we leave that one? Slow motion. There it is. Slow motion one. That's the one right there. We're going to bring this clip in. Of course, normally. That's the one. Yep. Slow motion. This is where things get fun. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Click on the clip. Back over to speed again. I'm going to bring it all the way down again to a crazy level 0 0.1. Now again, same thing. Come down to smooth slow-mo. Frame blending. Optical flow. This will take a good bit longer. As you can see. So I'll come back to you when this is finished. Applying the super slow-mo. Now it is finally finished. So let's check this clip out. Not all of it because it is very long. And that is what the super slow motion looks like. It's not too bad, is it? Go a little bit forward, maybe. That is so, so slow. Wow. That is a brilliant effect. If you want an extra, extra, extra super slow motion. Wow. And if you want to go even more crazy, you can render this clip as well. Same process. Render it out, bring it back in. I bring the speed down again, and you probably won't even see anything move for like 10 seconds per frame. <laughs> 10 seconds for one frame to pass, that could be crazy. Anyway, this is how you do slow motion and super slow motion again in CapCode for free. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It's free.